Hey, welcome back. I'm sorry I've been uh, away a couple of days. I want to show you today the video card, I mean the whole system that I've been using a couple of months and um, this is that computer that managed to entertain me for a very long time. I mean, I never changed a video card in this computer and every, everything was flawless. I loved how this uh, RTX 2080 Ti was uh, performing. It's a 2018 video card. It's got that 11 gig of VRAM that is actually fantastic. The core is fantastic. Managed to pair it up with this uh, i9 10 gen and everything was flawless. I never had a problem. Nothing was overheating. Everything was awesome with this computer overall. This is for those people who want to get a video card like this because somebody who already has this video card knows how it's performing and how long it's going to hold. I want to tell you that the, my i7 9 gen apparently managed to take the place from my old machine that was recording i had to install three capture cards this main board from this i7 9 gen was sli and crossfire compatible and now it's installed with uh, three capture cards and uh, an rtx 3080 that video card i don't have it anymore because it's, it's going to do the job for the recording and the main board that was sli and crossfire compatible now it's filled up with uh, uh, capture cards <laughs> fantastic computer but uh, i have to look in the future uh, for a computer that is similar with this in order to do those uh, configuration i have my old machine that is with i7 4 gen you know that is doing uh, sli and crossfire but uh, yeah that's the only machine so yeah if i want to test sli with uh, newer games i can do it for the moment. Regardless, let's jump in a couple of games and see how this 2080 Ti is uh, still holding. All right, so the first game that I want to show you how it's performing is the one that I played a little, you know. I'm not saying I didn't play it, but I played it and uh, I got uh, all the achievements for it. 50 out of the 50. I freaking love how it performs. I, I, I really love the uh, performance overall from this computer and I can't complain it. I want to show you how it's performing with this uh, 2080 Ti and by now I think Starfield looks okay, performs well, almost all the bugs are out, I think. No, I mean, I don't see them because I'm focused on the on the game. But regardless, I want to show you how it's performing. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see how the whole system is holding. I'm on medium settings, I left it on medium custom and I did some adjustments. So I will put it on, you know what, let's start with low. I will keep it as a preset and see how it's performing overall. It looks disgusting, seriously. This FSR, it's making the whole thing very buggy. I don't know what's wrong with it, but uh, regardless, it's working really nice on medium and there is a lot of stress here on the on the core you can actually see 70 percent load on the core yeah look at this look at it done <laughs> legendary everything i will show you the guns but uh, regardless uh, one punch 1958 damage regardless it's working with fsr but uh, you, you can move super fast but uh, if you don't have a 2080 ti and you want to use low quality with fsr apparently it's uh, is doing the job fantastic but there is no need for this video card on 1080p to work with this uh, type of quality you know so yeah it's uh, kind of funky to see this uh, quality like this okay with medium details apparently or with fsr let's see how it looks looks better with fsr still the same apparently is doing a better job now it managed to reach 80 percent load on the core and uh, yeah, it's kind of good to see this uh, type of, uh, how should I say, performance from a computer like this. Look how many fucking legendary I have here. I have to arrange them. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Yes, all the guns are legendary. Let's see how it's performing with uh, uh, DLSS because uh, quality, balance. Let's put balance on it and see how it's working with yeah definitely it's working really nice same performance and it looks very snappy very sharp edges it looks fantastic and uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, perform let's go on uh, on the ship and see how it's performing on uh, if i want to land you know the ship because that's uh, that's a place where it's lagging you know and going out uh, on a planet all right let's see how is the performance when i'm landing on the ground and this is medium details with uh, dlss I think uh, it, it, it still looks okay even with this quality, but overall I think it's uh, it's not a problem. You know, I can max out the quality, but uh, I, usually I like uh, high FPS uh, and I don't care about uh, some uh, 
some details that needs to be in the game you know if i want to play the game if i want to um, how should i say progress in the game i want the whole thing to be very fluent and that, that that's it another game that i have on the list that i'm using it with this computer it's world of tanks with 1080p on maximum details the whole video card itself it's consuming let me see 250 watts yes it's <laughs> you need an aircon in your house in order to actually use this video card because it's gonna heat up your room you know a 250 watts fan is gonna make your room uh quite crispy you know so i would like uh, to suggest in the future if you are interested on uh, <laughs> looking in a video card like this make sure you keep it cool you know because overall it's doing a fantastic job 3.2 gig of vram used 67 degrees 70 uh, percent uh, load on the core 80 percent and but it's delivering 200 fps so i would say this is a good and decent number in order to uh, play world of tanks uh, not that bad, not that shabby. I will say overall situation here is uh, fantastic in World of Tanks. I don't need 200 FPS plus, you know, I just want um, the minimum FPS that is required uh, to achieve the, I shall say, the best performance for the monitor. That if, if I get 100 FPS and lock it there, I will say thank you. And I think the GPU will not be stressed. It doesn't, I'm 100%, it will not reach uh, 70 degrees. I will be lower in temperature. The VRAM, it's uh, barely set. 3 gig of VRAM with this video card, nothing, minimal, 74, that's freaking fantastic, you know, so World of Tanks over, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of good, and I will say overall, there is no problem, just locking the FPS so you don't uh, stress the whole system, CPU and uh, the GPU, so World of Tanks, it's a must game on your list in order to benefit from your hardware, so let's see the performance, how it is, yeah, look at this, 100 fps on average 47 minimals and 91 uh, 1 i mean point one is kind of interesting to see that is 60 70 fps but uh, yes in general usually you will get on maximum details in pubg with a video card like this uh, great ex how should i say awesome fps you know the experience will be quite uh, fantastic do i like the 2080 ti how it's performing here yes only problem uh, i have here is uh, to lock it to a specific uh, fps in order to get uh, the best efficiency here this is maximum quality in pubg so if you are interested on in lowering the quality in order to get more fps i think it's it's achievable and you will get uh, the fps that the monitor uh, it's made for you know can't complain about dota because uh, i've been uh, you know using the system to have a little fun in this and it's working really fantastic uh, maximum details no problem with this uh, computer you can actually see it's not fully stressed and uh, it's uh, exactly what i need from a computer like this you know maximum quality maximum performance no starter no nothing minimals are good 55 1 percent 76 you know considering this is five versus five player this is uh, quite fantastic seriously and i love how, overall how it's doing let's look on the cpu side and see how it's doing 12 gig of system ram being used i like it uh, the threads and the cores are on on the spot so there is no problem with this uh, how should i say with this game and the system do you want to play competitive dota with the 2080 ti yeah it's got zero problems when it comes to the gpu side you can actually see it's using only 70 80 barely 80 watts consumption 2.2 gig of uh, vram utilized and uh, barely 70 degrees 69 degrees nice <laughs> <laughs> so yes overall dota it can actually do the job really nice but if we jump in cyberpunk and see how the 2080 ti is working we're gonna start with low details and we're gonna see how it's performing apparently on low details it looks okay this is the preset low quality you know so i left it like that in order to give you a chance to actually see as a preset how it's performing overall i like it i like it a lot seriously this is exactly what I need, but you know, I can actually see the pixels and uh, the um, errors inside the game, you know, uh, how FSR is doing his job, you know. It's not bad, it's just uh, I don't want it, you know. <laughs> I want to make it custom, you know, I want to disable the upscaling and stuff like that. It looks okay, low, low, low details, you know. I will use this uh, quality, V-Sync at a 60 FPS in order to distress the whole system, and that's it. But 
I'm gonna go on uh, maximum without upscaling. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on ultra as a preset and see how it's performing. Because I know on ultra the the quality will be quite fantastic. And it is. Look at this. It looks fantastic. Cyberpunk is actually holding pretty well. 6.5 gig of VRAM. This is great. Uh, it's looking fantastic. 13 gig of system RAM. The whole thing is. Uh, unbelievable seriously let's try and put it on to low uh, low ray tracing we'll put it like this ray tracing low tlss are super sampling automated so let's see I want, i'm curious how it looks here oh freaking nice look at this all right let's take the car usually when i take the car it, it drops in fps so this is exactly what i'm interested all right so the car is looking uh, great. There is not lots of uh, artifacts on the car, you know, with uh, FSR and upscaling. It looks fantastic. The lights, everything, the shininess on it, even on low, low quality, the ray tracing, it's uh, quite good. But I'm 100% sure if I step it up, I will have a lot of problems. All right, let's go into the settings. Uh, super resolution auto, put it on ultra. Let's see, 60 FPS. Hmm. I'm guessing that DLSS is doing the job, seriously. I'm guessing if I disable DLSS, uh, uh, it will be uh, atrocious, seriously. So with maximum ray tracing, with automated DLSS, you get uh, around 60, 70 FPS. Freaking love it, seriously. This is the right, this is the right settings. This is the right stuff. This is exactly, actually, how this should have run at the beginning of the launch, seriously. Overall system, I'm in love with it because this is the one that I was using. I can't deny the performance from this computer. This is what I was using, you know? So I show you how it was running my computer for a couple of months, you know? And uh, yeah, I have no problems. It's flawless. There's a couple of games. There's more games that I actually played, but I just wanted to show you a couple of them to uh, to understand how the system is performing even today in 2024 i have more games that i want to play on this uh, on this video card so i will keep the video card and if you have any suggestion any request please tell me if you want to see this uh, 2080 ti running with uh, different type of games it will be very interesting of course if i have them <laughs> regardless uh, thank you for coming back i'm very sorry but it took uh, uh, along in order to finish this uh, place and uh, now I'm very happy the system is working everything is working it is exactly what I wanted and uh, yeah can't wait to be back on track and uh, test other stuff I have a lot of things that I want to test more and uh, yeah I will see you very soon